Due to their anatomical and physiological peculiarities, obese patients present a set of challenges for anesthesiologists and require specific perioperative care compared to lean patients. In particular, morbid obesity results in reduced lung volumes, intrinsic PEEP, increased anesthesia-induced atelectasis, and ventilation-perfusion mismatch. At the same time, these patients have an increased oxygen consumption and work of breathing. In combination, these factors amplify the risks associated with general anesthesia, thus making obese patients prone to post-operative pulmonary complications. It is therefore crucial to use recommended ventilation and positioning approaches, together with supporting technologies to improve patient outcome throughout the entire general anesthesia procedure. In order to provide the best care for obese patients, Draeger ventilation technologies and functionalities support the recommended clinical procedures and protective ventilation approaches in the best way possible. In practice, the APL valve is used to simulate a CPAP pressure in manual spontaneous mode to counteract the intrinsic PEEP of obese patients during pre-oxygenation and recovery. However, the set APL valve pressure acts more as a resistance and hence does not reduce the work of breathing and merely makes expiration more difficult. Furthermore, the spontaneous breathing of the patient typically creates a pressure drop and pressure is not maintained at a constant level. Instead of this method, with the Draeger anesthesia machines Zeus IE and Perseus A500, which have a blower ventilator, the TurboVent 2, an active CPAP can be applied without interruptions during pre-oxygenation and recovery, where a continuous flow actively counteracts the intrinsic PEEP and thus reduces the work of breathing. The blower can adjust its speed extremely quickly to react to any pressure changes and maintain the set pressure during spontaneous breathing. The Draeger Primus family devices have a piston ventilator, the Event Plus, which can also apply an active CPAP in pressure support mode by setting the pressure support to zero millibar and the PEEP to an adequate value. A successful transition to spontaneous breathing is important to support the prevention of atelectasis in obese patients. Moreover, in supine, CPAP might be needed to be combined with pressure support to facilitate spontaneous breathing and in order to achieve adequate tidal volumes in case of morbid obesity. All Draeger anesthesia machines offer standalone pressure support modes. The high trigger sensitivity, which can be adjusted to the individual patient together with the fast reacting piston and blower ventilators, ensures rapid and synchronous pressure support for spontaneous breathing, like modern intensive care ventilators. The blower ventilator of Zeus IE and Perseus A500 allows spontaneous breathing at all times and in all pressure modes, independent of the activation of synchronization, even during the inspiratory phase and at peep level like a real BiPAP. In order to make spontaneous breathing easier, the breathing system resistance should be as low as possible. The blower ventilator of the Zeus IE and the Perseus A500 generates a minimal circular flow, which continuously circulates in the breathing system to mitigate its resistance. The piston ventilator of Primus family devices synchronizes its movement during expiration with the patient's expiration and so reduces the resistance. During intraoperative ventilation, one-step or multi-step recruitment maneuvers may be applied to counteract atelectasis, which could have happened during intubation. They can be performed either manually or via dedicated functionalities, which support the automation of this procedure. During these maneuvers, customized ventilation and hemodynamic patient monitoring is mandatory, and especially lung mechanics, SpO2, and blood pressure should be monitored precisely. With all Draeger anesthesia devices, recruiting maneuvers can be performed manually. Moreover, Perseus A500 offers an optional lung recruitment tool to automate the manual setup effort of these procedures. One-step maneuver, also known as the Lachmann maneuver, is normally performed manually by switching the anesthesia machine to manual spontaneous mode. 
setting the APL valve to the anticipated alveolar opening pressure and then squeezing the manual bag for the required duration. The APL valve should ideally produce a linear pressure profile so that the pressure in the system should precisely correspond to the set value. Nevertheless, a recent study found that one of the two APL valves compared in this study delivers pressure patterns that can deviate from the intended pressure by the user, thus not allowing for safe bag-assisted ventilation. Whereas the Draeger APL valve delivers a linear near pressure profile, and the delivered pressure never exceeded the set APL valve value. All Draeger anesthesia devices use the same APL valve, which delivers a linear pressure pattern and thus reliably prevents excessive pressures in manual ventilation. The Draeger Perseus A500 offers an optional function by which a one-step recruitment maneuver can be performed during normal ventilation. For this, after setting the desired pressure level and inflation time, the maneuver can be started by pressing one button. Once the maneuver is over, the device automatically switches back to the previous ventilation setting. If possible, this maneuver should always be followed by an adequate PEEP to avoid a pressure drop in the respiratory tract below the alveolar closing pressure and to prevent recurrent atelectasis formation. The idea behind multi-step recruitment maneuver, also known as incremental recruitment, is to carry out alveolar recruitment effectively and gently with respect to lung and hemodynamics. To do so, inspiratory pressure and PEEP are ideally increased step by step while maintaining a constant driving pressure. By linking PEEP and inspiratory pressure, Draeger anesthesia devices facilitate the manual implementation of these maneuvers. After the alveolar opening pressure is maintained for the desired time, both inspiratory pressure and PEEP will be gradually decreased. Additionally, the Perseus A500 offers a procedure to automate the manual setup effort for these kinds of time-consuming maneuvers. With just a few settings, recruitment maneuvers can be adjusted to suit the patient's need intuitively. Perseus A500 offers the possibility to prematurely transfer to the decremental phase without exerting the preset maximum pressure, even before reaching maximum pressure stage. In order to determine patient-specific PEEP during the decremental phase, compliance can be monitored continuously. The Draeger Zeus IE, Perseus A500 and Primus family devices offer the following functions to monitor the lung mechanics, particularly temporal changes, thus simplifying indication of a recruitment maneuver, like trend graphs for patient compliance and pressure volume flow loops, with the possibility of setting reference loops. Additionally, Perseus A500 offers suitable ventilation monitoring for both recruitment procedures, where pressure level, as well as compliance and tidal volume, respectively, are displayed. The ability to compare the lung mechanics before and after the maneuver, as well as during the current maneuver, facilitate the evaluation of the success of the recruitment. For multi-step maneuvers, cursor functions allow us to determine the optimal PEEP. Draeger Infinity Acute Care System Patient Monitoring IACS, offers, in combination with Draeger Anesthesia Devices, a dedicated analysis tool that displays relevant lung mechanics and hemodynamics parameters in parallel. Together with the indicators to assess the before and after situation, this system provides the clinician with confidence to evaluate the outcome of the recruitment maneuver. Smart Ventilation Control, a software option for Zeus IE, was developed in cooperation with clinicians and is a clinical knowledge-based ventilation assistance system. In contrast to conventional ventilation modes, the anaesthetist can define directly the ventilation goal between fully controlled ventilation, assisted or spontaneous breathing. The ventilation goal defines the target range for end tidal carbon dioxide. The tidal volume range is calculated according to the ideal body weight of the patient with a lung-protective low tidal volume approach. Smart ventilation control ensures that the ventilation stays within these ranges. 
Furthermore, smart ventilation control supports the patient-oriented transition between fully controlled, assisted and spontaneous ventilation by automatically reducing the ventilation support. This aids the provision of high-quality ventilation and helps reduce cognitive workload. Draeger Perseus A500 can offer the intelligent predictive functions Vaporview and O2 prediction when used in conjunction with Vapor 3000 and DVapor 3000. The system visualizes both the inspiratory and the expiratory volatile agent concentration and the inspiratory oxygen concentration prediction over the next 20 minutes and a trend of the past 10 minutes. These features offer higher levels of safety and transparency and make the recovery phase easier to manage. Based on pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic patient models, the Draeger Smart Pilot View software calculates and visualizes the combined effects of analgesics and hypnotics both for the current and the predicted course of anesthesia. Therefore, it can enhance early spontaneous breathing and successful recovery by providing visual information to support precise titration of anesthesia. Smart Pilot View can be combined with ZUSAE, Perseus A500 and Primus family devices. Furthermore, Smart Pilot View can be integrated into the main screen of ZUSAE.